Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to solve a trigonometric equation involving a squared trig function. For our first example, we're going to be solving sine squared x is equal to a quarter for x between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Starting off by writing up the equation, sine squared x is equal to a quarter. We're now going to take the square root of both sides to get rid of the squared. When we take the square root, we can get either the positive or the negative answers. That means we can have sine x is equal to positive a half or sine x is equal to negative a half. When sine x is equal to positive a half, we're going to get x being in the first or the second quadrant, which means x is 30 degree or 150 degrees. When sine x is equal to negative a half, x will be in either the third or the fourth quadrant, which means x is either equal to 210 degrees or 330 degrees. So we're going to get four solutions for this equation. x is equal to 30 degrees, 150 degrees, 210 degrees or 330 degrees. Let's make sense of why we get four solutions. Here I've got the graph y is equal to sine x. When we square sine x, we're going to get the red graph the red graph is the graph of y is equal to sine squared x. Several things to notice. The sine squared x function is always positive. When sine x is positive, sine squared x is positive. When sine x is negative, we square that sine squared x is positive. When sine x is equal to zero, sine squared x is also zero. When sine x is equal to 1 or negative 1, the square of 1 or negative 1 will be equal to 1. So when we're solving sine squared x is equal to a quarter, what we're actually looking for are the points of intersection of the sine squared x graph, which is the red graph here, and the green line y is equal to a quarter. And there are four points of intersections between 0 degrees and 360 degrees, which occur at 30 degree, 150 degrees, 210 degrees, and 330 degrees. And these correspond to our four solutions. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you did find that helpful. If you did find it helpful, please help us by clicking like and subscribe. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.